there is much that we can do and there is a lot of hope within the strength of the people that that we hear from from their stories and all the many many more people that they represent for 30 years there's been kind of a lid on things and an inability to say or speak or talk or do anything under Saddam but now the lid's off and the pot's boiling over There was a moment for about four, five, six months where things were pretty okay. And it was a very exciting time. There was a good back and forth between uh, the army and uh, the military forces and the Iraqi people. And then all this stuff started happening that was intended to drive them apart. And it more or less succeeded. This play is not about should we have gone in in 2003 or not. The fact of the matter is that we did. Right. That happened. It's not about that. And that decision has had enormous fallout that is continuing now and it is continuing to affect real human lives, lives just like yours or mine. We filtered all these interviews from 37 different Iraqis and uh, distilled it down to these six, story, six or seven stories if you count the translator. Each character was asked if you could say something to each person was asked uh, if you could say something to a room full of Americans, what would you say? And Basima's response was that we are not what you see on TV, what you see in the news. We are more than that. These people exist somewhere and have had these conversations. This isn't some point of view that the author has or something that the playwright made up. This actually really happened to real people. And this is what it's like to be a human being in this situation. <laughs> Thank you.